Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to talk about two of the included virtual instruments with Reaper. Uh, Resynth drums and the Resynth. So I'm going to start out with the Resynth drums. There's really nothing to the user interface, unfortunately. Um, maybe in version 5 we'll get some uh, controls here, but for now it's just multi-out. Uh, stereo or multi-out. Uh, this instrument has four built-in sounds. Got a kick, snare, blip, and uh, a tick. So kick sounds like a kick. Snare sounds like kind of like a snare and a hat. Definitely some white noise in there. Blip is kind of like a, a wood block clave sort of sound and tick uh yeah moderately useful and these sounds are adjustable if you do the multi-out uh you can send them all to separate tracks and you can add effects as you want um they really really do need some help uh to make them usable in a song for the multi-out uh, setup, I actually have a track template that I like to use. And uh, let's switch over to Mixer. Um, it just, it kind of saves me a step to do that. Everything's named and uh, the routing's done and all that kind of stuff. So that's how I like it. Let's move on to the more interesting plugin that is recent. This is the default patch. It starts out with just a sine wave. We've got volume control for everything, a master volume control up at the top. We have tuning for the uh, first sine wave, uh, ADSR envelope, attack, decay, sustain, release. And then there's the option of adding in additional waveforms. So this is a blend control. So um, adding in a square wave. Well, if this is, at, this is up to one, we're only going to hear the square wave. Anything below will blend with the original sine wave. And with the square wave, we have a uh, pulse width. Which makes things a lot more interesting. Uh, we also have a sawtooth. Triangle wave. And then an extra sine wave which will just make it louder until you detune it. So let's do uh, 1200. This doesn't come with any presets. I've created a bunch of my own and I'll just go through those now. So first one's clicky. Just a little click sound, more clicky, a little more snappy, a sign beep, a square bass, a bell sort of sound. I had a Fisher Price keyboard that was very similar to this. Arpeggiate sound. Now I'm just playing it quickly, but um, it sounds pretty cool if you, if you uh, program some arpeggios. And also this one. And these are kind of like uh, chiptune sort of sounds. Uh, Pong.
Reminds me of the game Pong. So, I'm going to uh, give out a preset pack of these 10 presets so that uh, if you want to play around with recent, it makes it a little bit easier. Have some a few starting points. Now, with these two virtual instruments, you really need to add some effects and send it to a reverb or a delay to make things interesting. So, uh, I have a, another project in another tab set up here to, uh, to demonstrate that. So, I've got a bit of a song written here, and I've got some, uh, I'm using three instances of recent, uh, instance of recent drums, and then I've got a couple reverb sends. All right, let's have a little listen. Let's start out with this uh, first sound. I'll solo that and I'll show you what's going on with it. So uh, let's take off the verb and EQ. It's just my uh, sustained uh, preset. Adding in EQ, I've got a parameter modulated, um, uh, what is this called? Low pass filter. So to do that, you just move the frequency control, you go to uh, parameter modulation, and then I've set this up to uh, two bars, eight quarter notes, strength of 36%, and it's starting at the top and then going down. So with EQ, here's how it sounds. It just adds a little bit of movement, makes it a lot more interesting. All right, and then the reverb, uh, just using uh, built-in one, the long mono preset that I made up. You know, just Add some space, makes it a, a lot more interesting. Uh, second patch here is uh, my more clicky preset. You know, on its own, it's not really doing much, but let's add in this uh, reverb, which, uh, also the long mono preset, slightly tweaked, and then this is used as an insert rather than as a send and receive setup. So, um, getting in lots of wet and just a little bit of dry. Turning that click kind of more into a clap sound. Uh, next we've got the ping sound. And without the reverb. All right, so that's all the synths. Here's the drums. Got a bit of EQ on the kick. Snare EQ. An EQ on the tick. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this useful. Please like, share, subscribe, 
and check out the accompanying blog post to get those downloads. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Bye.